Hey there, and welcome to the Do Life Big podcast. This podcast is going to be your jam if you want to live to your full potential and don't believe in half-assing anything in your life. If we want to do life big, that means we've got to get out of our own way because we only have this one shot to make it awesome. I'm your host, Kathy, and I'm a mom of three whose BFF is cold brew, a retired school teacher turned online entrepreneur and an author. I'm loud, bold, and will always keep it real. I'm determined to live my best freaking life possible, and I'm here to help you do the same. I'll be packing this podcast with tips, motivation, inspiration, and strategies to finally get you where you want to go. And we will have a ton of laughter along the way because let's be honest, we can't ever take ourselves too seriously, right? I'm so excited you are here with me today. Now let's get this party started. Hey, my friend, what's up? And welcome back to another episode of Do Life Big. Super excited to have you here today. Today's episode is going to be short and to the point. And I'm doing this one because after announcing that I'm going to be starting with my husband, this program called 75 Hard, it's totally free. It doesn't cost any money. So I'm not trying to sell you on anything. But after announcing that in my last bonus episode, which was 103, so if you haven't heard about this yet and you haven't listened, Go ahead and listen to that one first. But once I started talking about that and people started to hear about it and it kind of went through the grapevine, I've had a lot of conversations with people who they just have a lot going on in their life, right? Like it's chaotic. They've got multiple kids. You know, they know they have weight that they need to lose. They know that they're lacking energy and they really want that energy so they can keep up with their grandkids or their kids. And they really do want to be better. And they want to do better and they want to become better. But at the same point in time, they feel this overwhelm and don't necessarily know where to start in order to start to move into a better version of themselves. And some of them have this kind of all or nothing mentality. And so today's episode, we're going to be really focusing on overwhelm and how starting small and doing something is always better than doing nothing. So let's just, for example, go back to 75 hard, for example. That's going to be a challenging freaking program. It is. There's no way around it. And it's supposed to be challenging. It's supposed to be hard, right? And I'm up for that challenge. But at the same point in time, too, I do realize that there are people who are just, they're just not there at this point in their life right now. They just can't do it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I remember hearing about this program years ago saying, nope, I'm not there yet. Not ready yet. However, I was having a conversation with somebody earlier today, and she was sharing with me about how she really wanted to just be a better version of herself. She said that she really wanted to start reading. She really wanted to start reading the Bible. She wanted to start filling her head with better things. She wanted to get off this baby weight that she was still carrying on to that she knew was preventing her from really having the energy that she needs to keep up with her kids. and. She also had the mentality of, I want to do it all, but I don't know how I'm going to do it all. And so I think that this is a really tough mentality that sometimes we can get into and it really ends up just self-sabotaging ourselves and our success because we have this all or nothing. Like I'm going to do all of it, even though I'm not used to doing any of it. Like even though, okay, I'm not used to reading personal development or listening to personal development. I'm not used to drinking water. I'm not used to really sticking with a meal plan or a nutrition plan. I'm not used to getting exercise in daily. And I'm going to commit to this crazy program where it's supposed to be hard and it's supposed to challenge you and I'm supposed to do it all. And if I can't do it all, then I'm just not going to do any of it at all. And then what happens is when we have this mentality and we start something like that, we start out really motivated. Like, all right, like I'm starting on Monday, right? Like how many times have you said, I really got to get back in shape or I really got to do this or I really got to do that. Definitely on Monday. On Monday, I'm doing fill in the blank with whatever it is for you. And then Monday comes around and you're all motivated and you're all excited and all gung ho and you stick out, you wake up, you have your routine, you get going. And then something along the way happens during that day or even the next day that kind of puts a wrench in it. And then you're not able to do that thing. You're not able to cross that thing or check that thing off your list. And immediately in your mind, you're like, see, why'd you even bother? You never can stick with these things that you commit to. You shouldn't start in the first place. 
And then you just revert back to your old ways. And then the cycle continues for months and years, and sometimes it never changes. And so the best thing that you can do if you're someone like that, where, you know, you're not used to really establishing a routine or anything, is to just start small. And what I like to do is, you know, if I have a habit, like a good habit that I do, it's so much easier to form a new habit if you pair a new habit with an old habit that you make non-negotiable. So for example, if I work out every single day and I know that I want to start incorporating collagen and L-glutamine and aminos into my daily diet, well, I know that I work out every day and I know that I drink my Energize every day when I work out. So what I'm going to do is instead of just having just Energize in that one drink, I'm going to throw in the L-glutamine. I'm going to throw in the collagen. I'm going to throw in the aminos and I'm going to get all of that in there. And that is how you form a new habit, right? Now, every day when I work out, it's a no brainer. I know I have my Energize and I throw those three extra things into it. You can do the same kind of thing if you're someone who's like, you know, I really want to start reading or I really want to start reading the Bible like this one girl told me. I really want to start filling my mind with something good. I don't want to be consumed by the news or social media or anything negative that's going to put fear or scarcity mindset into my head. And so maybe you're someone who really loves ending every night with a cup of tea. Can you tell I'm getting older? (laughs) Maybe you like a nice warm cup of sleepy time or chamomile tea. And you know that you sip this tea every single night for about 10 minutes before you go to bed. And usually you just sit there and watch, you know, Netflix or whatever it is for you. Instead of the Netflix, you can decide to, hey, you know what? That's when I'm going to open up my personal development book. That's when I'm going to listen to that 10 minutes of the podcast. That's when I'm going to read the Bible. Whatever it is for you, and you pair that new habit with an already existing habit, which is every night I drink tea. So I might as well drink tea And also read or listen to something good for my brain, right? And so my whole point is that it should not be an all or nothing mentality. We have got to get away from the all or nothing mentality. And trust me, I have fallen victim of this many times (laughs) in my life. And the lesson I've learned is that, listen, it's never going to be perfect. It is never going to go the way that you want it to go. It's never going to go the way that you hope it goes. Something is always going to happen. Life is going to get in the way. You're not going to be feeling good one day. Your kid is going to get sick. You don't get a good night's sleep. Things are going to happen. And if you're someone who's not used to doing all of these things and it's something brand new, you're better off just starting small versus throwing yourself into the deep water and not knowing how to swim. So... What I recommended to this one particular person I was talking to was, hey, you know, instead of committing to this, you know, you can still be in our private Facebook group that I'm going to be running, which by the way, you can be in it too. If you don't really want to do 75 hard and go to the extreme like we are, but you still feel like you want some kind of motivation and inspiration to stay on track for your goals, you can go ahead and join our group too. That way you can see everyone showing up, doing all these things for themselves, and it will help hold you more accountable. But I recommend it to this girl to, you know, start slow. Start by drinking more water, logging your water every day, right? Start by pairing that little bit of reading, 10 pages of reading with your cup of tea at night before you fall asleep. Start by just, can we commit to moving our body a little bit every day? Even if that means you just do one quarter mile walk around your neighborhood, it doesn't need to be anything crazy and out of control right? But when you start to build these new habits and become disciplined enough, then it will be easier to incorporate all these other new things into it. Okay. And this is what happens is it's actually in this book that I'm reading. It's called The Gap and the Gain. If you haven't read it, you should definitely read it. I read it a long time ago when I first started my entrepreneurial journey. It was like probably nine years ago when I read it though. I'm reading it again because, you know, even though you read something once, you're in a different place in your life when you listen or read something again and you always learn new things based on where you are in your life. And I remember this book being really good. And I remember somebody mentioning it again when I was at this event over the past couple of days in California. And it made me remember how good it was. 
So for example, The Gap and the Gain, this is the book I'm going to be reading every day. I'm supposed to be doing 10 pages, reading this book every single day as part of my 75 hard requirement. I'm being disciplined in it, but it's really good. And what it was talking about was the gap is where most people live. And the gap is where you are constantly comparing yourself right now to your ideal, where you want to go, where you should be, how you should be, the amount of money that you should be earning, the rank that you should be in your company or your business, the achievements that you should have had at this point in your life based off of your age. All of that is living in the gap. And it prevents you from really being and feeling fulfilled and happy because what it does is it takes you out of the present and it puts you in the future. And the future is anything but predictable. And we want to do things to bring ourselves more to the present so that we can start to live more in the present. And that's where you start to feel really alive and feel true happiness and fulfillment and connection with yourself and with others if you can find a way to bring yourself in the present. And by doing that, and focusing on the here and now and focusing on what you have achieved, how far you've come, the progress you've already made, all those little wins along the way that you may have dismissed, you acknowledge them, you embrace them, and you show pride in yourself and acknowledge them. You know, you give yourself a pat on the back when you do these little things instead of saying, oh, well, it doesn't really make a difference because where I'm trying to go is actually here and I still have so much further to go, right? Anytime you compare yourself to the future where you should be, that's living in the gap. The gain is where you can truly be here in the moment and look back at how far you've come and acknowledge it and be really proud and happy about how far you've come. You know that there's still more that you want to do. You know there's still more work that needs to be done. You know that you have all these goals. Of course you do. We all do. That we want to achieve and accomplish and things we want to do. And that's fine. You can have all of that. But if we're constantly saying, yeah, but it will be so much better once I can finally quit this job. Oh my gosh, I'm going to feel so much more free and so much less stress once I finally have X amount of money in the bank or once my paycheck says this. Whatever it may be for you, that's living in the gap. And so we want to really focus on doing small little things that we can do every single day. Something is always better than nothing. Really being proud of yourself for how far you've come. And when you can do those couple of things and, you know, pair those new habits with an old existing habit, that's actually good, a good existing habit, then it will reduce the overwhelm and it will get you into the present, keep you here it will lead to so much more happiness, so much more confidence, so much more motivation to really go after what it is that you want in life. And it will really get you practicing gratitude is what it is. So I hope that today's episode helped you out. It is not too late to hop into my 75 hard group that I have on Facebook. Like I said, it's totally free. We did start on August 26, which is today, but you can hop in anytime you want. I purposely wanted to start ASAP because it was a great time for me with kids being back at school. And I wanted to get this done before the holidays because, you know, I'm going to be having my chocolate martinis around Christmas and my birthday and New Year's and all that good stuff. So if you decide to start with me today on August 26th, we'll be done before all of that. But even if you wait a week, you still will be done. I will put the link in the show notes. It's kathyreuter.com slash 75. That way I know who wants to participate. I can get you in the group and we can do this together. I know firsthand that accountability is the key to really reaching the successes that you want in life, whether it's your health, your mind, your body, mental, business, anything. Accountability is the key to it. And I also know it's going to be challenging for me and I really need it for myself. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Share this with someone who needs to hear this message today. Tag me on Instagram at Katherine Reuter and I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for being here. You know I love you and I will see you the next time. Bye. Thanks so much for listening in. I really appreciate you choosing to spend your time here with me today. You totally rock. Hey, listen, if you love today's episode, go ahead and tag me on social and go share this with a friend right now. Like, do it immediately before the day gets ahead of you and you totally forget. Couldn't be more pumped to be on this journey with you guys. Go make today awesome, and I will see you the next time. Bye.